We all know that circuit breaker has three poles R, Y and B. All the three poles of the circuit breaker should be open or tripped simultaneously. That means all should be tripped or open at a time. But if there is any problem with the circuit breaker and the three poles do not open or trip altogether, then what will happen? In that scenario, full discrepancy feature of circuit breaker will come into place. So today our topic of discussion is pole discrepancy protection of circuit breaker. So let's begin. Pole discrepancy protection is an inherent feature of circuit breaker which ensures that all the three poles of circuit breaker is stripped or closed within a predefined time period. If there is a mismatch of breaker opening or closing time, then pole discrepancy protection will operate and will trip all the three poles of the circuit breaker. Suppose due to a particular fault, a trip command is issued to the breaker, but due to some problem, only two poles of the circuit breaker could open simultaneously and the one pole of the breaker opened after some time more than the set time. In that case, pole discrepancy protection will operate and will trim all the three poles of the circuit breaker. Basically, pole discrepancy feature is incorporated through a timer and fixed time is set in the timer after which pole discrepancy is supposed to initiate. Suppose the time set at 2.5 second in the pole discrepancy timer. Then if there is a mismatch more than 2.5 second in breaker opening or closing time, then pole discrepancy shall operate and shall trip all the three poles of the circuit breaker. For better understanding of pole discrepancy, carefully observe the figure below. In the figure, S1, S2, S3, S4, S5 and S6 are breaker auxiliary contact. Mind that S1, S3 and S5 are normally closed contacts, while S2, S4 and S6 are normally open contacts. Breaker auxiliary contacts are those contacts which are associated with breaker physical opening and closing. If the circuit breaker is open, it means that S1, S3, S5 will be closed and S2, S4 and S6 will be open. But as soon as circuit breaker closes, the configuration of contacts S1, S2, S3, S4, S5 and S6 will change. That means S1, S3 and S5 will open while S2, S4 and S6 will close. First, we will discuss what will happen under normal operating condition of circuit breaker. That means, if the circuit breaker trips and all the three phases will be simultaneously closed or open, then what will happen? If circuit breaker trips and all the three phases open as shown in the figure, the status of the contacts will be as below. S1 will be closed, S3 close, S5 close, but S2 open, S4 open, S6 open. Thus we see that if we apply a 220 kV voltage, sorry 220 volt voltage or 110 volt DC supply that will not extend to the timer and timer will therefore will not be initiated. Therefore trip command from pole discrepancy will not go. Now we will discuss what will happen under pole discrepancy. Suppose one phase, suppose R phase of the circuit breaker fails to close. In then, in that case, the status of the contacts will be S1 close, 
S3 open is 5 open, S2 open is 4 close, S6 close. Carefully observe in the figure and the configuration of the contacts. The positive supply will be extended to the timer through contacts S1, S4 and S6 and therefore timer will initiate. After the set time period, if the circuit breaker still fails to close, the timer will actuate its contact normally open to close that is depicted on the right side that you can see trip circuit alarm spare in that trip circuit. It will give a trip command to the three pole of the circuit breaker and one, one alarm signal will go through the alarm contact and one spare contact is given that can be used in the future purpose. In this way, pole discrepancy protection trips the circuit breaker if there is a mismatch in timing of circuit breaker operation. The circuit breaker operation of pole discrepancy will be same as described above for tripping of the circuit breaker also. Thank you guys for watching this video and please like, comment and share this video and keep your valuable opinions and any suggestion if you have to improve the videos and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.